Hey guys, Derek Ritter from Ritter Krieg, and uh, just a short little video to tell you that um, we are having a sale on Bounding Fire production. So Bounding Fire uh, hasn't gone up in price in, I can't remember, ever, um, but they finally went up in price, $10 um, each product. So I got permission from uh, the good folks at BFP to uh, run one last sale before, um, before I increase my prices. So not only are we... Uh, selling them ten dollars off the new price so pretty much the old price um, we're also given ten percent off and free shipping so if you want uh, if you want anything from Bounding Fire Productions uh, it's a good time to buy it the um, sale will run until my current stocks are out or about two weeks whichever so um, so don't delay so I'll just talk about them uh, the products a little bit of time so you know what's involved and you can see the full description either at my website or at the BFP website so um, but let's go to them so there's 12 in total um, and uh, we're gonna go uh, or over them in no particular order so we can see the um, 12 uh, modules that they came out with and they uh, vary in size and of course vary in price based on their size and components but this is uh, in no particular order. I'm just going to do it in the order that I see them on the screen. So um, onslaught to Orsha. So that would be uh, Operation Bagration in um, uh, 1944, where the uh, Russians cut off and destroyed Army Group Center. So um, that's pretty good. Comes with uh, comes with a huge map, and uh, that's a lot of fun. I played that. That's if you like setting up. Um, thorough well thought out defenses that's great they have flame throwing tanks and lots of minefields and pillboxes and lots of fun uh, then they have Corregidor of course that takes place in the Pacific and um, I haven't I actually haven't played that yet but uh, looking forward to doing that then we have Operation Neptune and I haven't played that either but I think it's um, I think it's uh, early 1945 um, crossing of the Rhine maybe so, yeah. Uh, then we have high ground. Now those come with some um, some great uh, maps that uh, take hills to a whole new level. Um, uh, where um, they have extra extra height on them, and they don't they are not um, completely geomorphic because they uh, some of the maps the mountains. Um, the board edge is a mountain so it butts up with another board with mountains so um but it doesn't butt up with a plain board hard to explain but anyway uh that's great if you like mountainous terrain then we have poland in flames so poland in, so there's a few of these now there's poland in flames crucible of steel and um, blood and jungle and these are like the magnus opus of magnum opus magnus opus of the um, of the BFP products and these are just huge uh, products um Poland in flames is I don't know the scenario number but tons and tons and tons of Polish scenarios including new counters and uh, new unit types so that's uh, that's great crucible of steel is Kursk um, lots and lots and lots and lots of Kursk and Blood and Jungle is tons of uh, Japanese uh, scenarios, both um, the Americans, the British, the Chinese, um, the Thai, anything, um, anything Pacific to do with the Japanese is in that one. And they all come with boards and um, all come with lots and lots of scenarios. Then we have the two Normandy packs, and we've got uh, Beyond the Beachhead and Operation Cobra. And if you like Bocage, which I do, that's like, I don't know if I like Bocage more than Desert, but, you know, they're they're right there together. I just love the two of them. So uh, that's all the Normandy stuff. Then we have Objective Schmidt, which is um, lots of maps and um, and scenarios for uh, the uh, Hurtgen Forest battles. And um, then we have Into the Rubble, and that sort of like um, High Ground is uh, some maps um, that depict lots and lots of rubble terrain. So, and those are geomorphic. 
And then we have uh, the brand new one, Bitterest Day, which is Okinawa, Sugarloaf Hill. Not just Sugarloaf Hill. It's it's all the uh, all the cave complexes in that neighborhood of Sugarloaf Hill and uh, what was that Hacksaw Ridge area. So uh, so that's I've already played one of the scenarios and it was a blast. It was a ton of fun. And uh, just on a side note, I received some damaged copies of Bitterest Day, so I'm selling those at half price. They're not badly damaged, just the ears are bent, and uh, maybe a couple of them are a little frayed, but, um, you know, perfectly playable. So anyway, that's it. Just thought I'd post this and uh, the sale, and thanks for watching. Everybody have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you soon.